Hey there, Billy. You look like you're about to go run in an election. Well, that's swell. What sort of election are you going to run in? Wait, don't tell me you don't know that there is more than one kind of election. Haha, <laughs> well, Billy, there are actually three different types of elections. These elections are congressional elections, presidential primary elections, and finally, presidential elections. Now, Billy, are you ready to learn about all the different types of elections? Well, Billy, let's begin. Welcome to our first stop in the wonderful world of elections, the Congressional Election. In this kind of election, a person is chosen by winning their political party's primary election. This is when a political party decides who will represent them, and the winner is usually that of the popular vote. Whoa there, hold your horses! Haha, <laughs> silly Billy. You must first be nominated by your peers to run in this election. Would you like to know more? Excellent! Another important thing to know is that this election uses a winner-take-all system, which means the person with the most votes wins everything. This is used to focus on appointing government officials to congressional positions. Now remember, Billy, in certain areas of the country, such as Florida, petitions are required to run for congressional office, so make sure to do your prior research. Now, are you ready to learn about the next election? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's go! This next type of election is the presidential primary election. Haha, <laughs> silly Billy. Not residential primary, presidential primary. In this election, the winner is chosen to run for the president's position. This can either be decided by a direct election or a caucus. Haha, <laughs> yes, Billy. There are actually two possible solutions here. Yes, I'm serious. A direct election is where candidates go and win as many state races as they can. However, a caucus is more of a town hall style of election, where citizens vote on delegates to represent their vote at the national convention. Now remember, a caucus is only used in two states. So make sure to be aware during your presidential primary. Ha <laughs> ha, now you get it. However, there is still one more election to go. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. That, of course, would be the presidential election. I know you must be excited. Ha <laughs> ha, he sure is eager. I guess I better go follow him to the next election. Billy, where are you? Hmm, I'm sure I saw him run off this way. Haha, <laughs> I see someone's very excited to learn about how the president is elected. Well then, this is the presidential election where the president of the United States is chosen. Yes, this is a very simple election. In this election, the winner is always from one of the two major political parties. This is an indirect election, meaning that the people do not vote for the president directly, but the electoral college usually goes by the popular vote. This is separate from the people, unlike other elections, but the final outcome is still influenced by the voters. And that, Billy, is how the president is made. Well, Billy, have you decided on what election you'll run in? Excellent! Good job, Billy! You now know about all the electoral systems. Good luck, Billy! Have fun 
in your election. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong?